So, uh, my name is Christopher Baker Bryan. I'm the co founder and CTO of Bbox. Uh, Bbox is an off grid energy company that works across sub Saharan Africa and the rest of the developing world to provide energy services to rural off grid households. And how do you do that? Sure, so, so we, uh, we do that through the provision of, of off-grid energy units. We design and manufacture those units ourselves. And then in Kenya and Rwanda, we distribute those units through a network of retail stores to our customers in, in rural areas. These customers pay for the, the product using mobile money services in, in short amounts, so up to around, on average, around eight to nine dollars per month in, in local currency. Um, and, to do, and they get for that access to energy services such as lighting, TV, radio, and, and so on. And essentially, you've got two parts of the unit, haven't you? You've got a panel on the roof, that's right, and a yeah. battery in the home. That's right, and the, the battery unit is the, is the interesting part, and that's the bit that, that we do quite a lot of work on. So this unit actually has the ability to communicate over the local mobile phone network, and it sends us back data about how that unit's being used, it sends us the location, and because we ask our customers to pay for this on a payment plan on a monthly basis, if the customer doesn't pay for that unit, ultimately we can lock down that unit, switch off the outputs, and ultimately geolocate where that product is in case we need to go and collect it at some point. So how many different units, sure. how many units have been sold? Sure, yeah, there's about 70,000 of these monitored units which we've distributed to date. Mainly of most of those, almost 90% of those are in East Africa, and some in other parts of the world, some in West Africa. Um, and then we have in total around 120,000 units to date that we've delivered since we started the business in, in March 2010. And the difference between the top end and the bottom end, what, 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 what are you getting? Them? Sure, sure. So the, the very basic user would get two lights and a phone charging system and they would pay us about $6 a month in yeah. local currency. At uh, the top end you would get up to six lights, uh, a TV, radio and additional small USB devices and they would pay us around $20 per month on, on average. And what happens when you get to the end of the three-year contract? Sure. So we actually then offer the customer a longer-term maintenance agreement. Uh, we allow the customer to, to essentially get an energy service fee, which, which they pay us up to 10 years, uh, for up to 10 years, sorry. And, and that really allows them to get access to uh, spares and replacements. If the product has an issue, we will fix that free of charge whilst they're paying this low monthly fee. And that's around $2.50 per month for, for that customer. And you've raised um, money consistently since you've started. How much have you raised and from sure. what sort of people? Yeah, sure. So we did our first investment round, our first Series A round in 2013, late 2013. And since then, we've raised uh, just under $40 million uh, from a mix of social impact investors, family offices, but more, more recently, more corporate VCs and, and more, more corporate players, if you like, who are looking to, they see the value of this market and they see the potential that this market has to, to reach the unelectrified population around the world. So what are your future expansion plans? Sure, so we're looking to expand within Kenya and Rwanda. Um, that's one of the big things that we're doing right now. So we're, we're growing the, the 42 shops that we have right now into, into a larger number. Um, and, and then also at the same time looking to get into new markets. So we've just opened up in Nigeria and Cameroon in, in the last six months. Uh, and we're also up and up in, in South Africa and Pakistan with partners there. And so we're looking to, uh, to expand through those partners. We provide the technology, the service, the software platform, the training, uh, and then the local partner will provide the capital and the, the, the infrastructure to help operate that business locally. You have quite a large engineering team here in London where we're doing the yep. interview. What's the future of this kind of technology? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, we think that technology, that's a strong component of technology, will help us help us win this market over the next 10 years or so. Um, I mean, a lot of what we do is around the ability to monitor remotely distributed energy products. We think that the, the, uh, the, the future way of electrifying the continent is really through a distributed or predominantly through a distributed method of electricity generation and distribution. So we're investing heavily into that side of the technology to allow us to go and do this. Um, and really we're looking to expand the, the product range to, to cater for new markets and new classes of products such as people that want a fridge or they want to run TVs, large TVs, maybe an office, um, in, into that sort of range. We think that's where the next generation of products will emerge.